The lettering's all intact. This is a routine Tondre Stoudemir has done for decades. And then we go on the bus, we check the inside. Checking every inch of his bus at the end of his shift. Well, that's Tondre we'll works that. as a bus driver for the Rochester City School District. <laughs> He's been doing it for 40 years. There's no way I would have been in this job 40 years if I didn't care about kids. Tondre's favorite part of the job? <laughs> right. Making relationships with each student that gets on his bus. I love my kids, all my kids. Sometimes you see them out in the store, they might say, hi, Mr. T, you remember me? Oh, yes. I don't remember your name, but I remember your face. With four decades behind the wheel, Tondre's seen a lot of changes. But the last two years brought some of the toughest, a pandemic and on top of it, a bus driver shortage. And so everybody, even the management was driving, expediters that does the routing. Uh, even Nicholas, the safety director, we all had to contribute to uh, getting the kids to and from safely. Last year, the Rochester City School District was dealing with a busing crisis. Even as the school year started, many kids were left without transportation. With just days to go before the first day this year, the district says they're in a much better place thanks to new strategies. We hired an additional contractor and that's been able to help us with some of our uh, smaller routes. And we had some of our schools, like our charter schools, agreed to tier their schools. So they have um, two different start times that are the same. So that maximizes the buses, saved us about 90 buses. Increasing pay and benefits also help the district hire more drivers. It's going to help out a lot. Some new ones coming in to take over for when you leave. Yeah. This is Tondre's last year in the driver's seat. We, we get what we put into our job. We don't put anything in it. We get nothing out of it. But for now, he still has a new group of students to start his day with. Rachel Nemia, Spectrum News.